All right, hi, Ada, USA, USAX, USNX, DODX rail car created by Adam Nugent Rosenberger, part and personal for the Department of Defense Form 1335. All right, field inspection of rail cars form shows the test tank valve, pressure tank valve, gallons limit, um, and limited lo load weight, tonnage load limit. Air date, journal pads type, date built, date built last, inspected ACI, yes. And then the items would go uh, tank shell, leaking, satisfactory repair, renewal, yes or no. Running board, metal, wood, satisfactory repair, renew, uh, repair, satisfactory repair, renew, decayed or missing. Tank bands, uh, satisfactory repair, renewing, loose or broken. Deck lining, satisfactory repair, renewed. Date and type, uh, sill, sill step grab, iron hand rails, ladders, satisfactory repair, loose, broken, bent, or broken, uh, coupler shank, sidewall, side knuckles, p um, pins, lock nut, uh, satisfactory repair, renew, worn, cracked, alignment, low and imperative, striker casting, straight sat, satisfactory repair, renew, cracked, broken, loose, Draft gear, yoke, follower, key, cushion, device, recess, repair, renew, uh, worn, broken, missing, pounding, draft lugs, recess, repair, renew, loose rivets are missing, side bearings, recess, repair, renew, uh, adjusting, missing, or no clearance, side frame, bolster, column guide, recess, repair, renew, broken, patch, plated, striking, or worn, Spring packaging satisfaction renew or repair. Uh, compress missing broken plates and wood. Modification stake pockets yes or no satisfaction repair renew. Shield strap other cracked or bent. Wheels. Um, sorry, hand brake shaft wheel. Satisfaction repair renew. Shim R and R R and R renew wheels satisfactory repair renew flange crack flat spots trim thin rim axle journals satisfactory repair renew uh, collar heat R J stamp fillet journal box lubricators low missing center plates broken and loose roller blading uh, sorry roller bearing adopter lugs heat water worn missing seals broken. Defect card holder, plaque card holders, and route boards. Um, suspect repair, renew, tighten, or replace. Paint condition, mechanical condition, code. All right, your item tank shell leaking. Is it suspect repair, renew, with remarks chest ye check yes or no? Sorry, you know. All right, leaking tanks. A leaking tank should have been transferred as soon as possible. If leaking, badly temporary repairs must be... Um, Accomplish one method of stuffed waste or rage is impregnated with a heavy lubricant in the uh, opening of to the arrest of flow with the rupture is not too great to um, too great a soap or clay may be adequate. Uh, these are strictly temporary exemptions only perform provided time to transfer the landing to another car. If the possible, if possible, the empty tank car should be selected to receive transfer to lading and should have similar commodity. Otherwise, lading may be contaminated or two compatible substances become mixed. If possible, the load should be transferred by gravity flow. If the gravity transfer cannot be um, made, siphon pressure may be used. A pressure, air pressure should be judiciously used only on cars loaded with heavy oils at a very low level leaks and some of the same Seems um, ca caulked temporary by packing them with twine, lead, lead wood pushed into place with the sharpened piece of wood and bronze after the twin uh, twine caulking has been tampled, tamped into place. A soap uh, should be p may be par padded over into form a ridge. Tools made of furious metal must not be used with the cars. To repair type since the damage of the ignition flaming landing or gases at, by, by sparks um, that might occur when furious metals are brought into shark content. A dent in the tanker car does not require any attention if not leaking.
or your outlet valve leaks. Uh, many leaks occur at the outlet valve underneath the tank. This is generally caused by a leaking valve inside the tank. The type of leak often may be stopped by tightening in the cap on the bottom of the tank nozzle. If this is not remedy the trouble, the blind gaskets placed over the end of the tank nozzle cap screw tightening against it, and sometimes such leakage can be spot by removing the dome cover, moving the valve up and down several times in bad leaks, and often develop in the tank nozzle of the outlet valve. Because of the freezing cold weather, uh, as water is heavier than oil or formed from condensation, will be at the bottom of the tank and be first to run out. The water often freezes in cold weather, bursting, uh, the, um, bursting the tank nozzle and causes leak when it thaws. In such cases, leaky valves should be replaced after the car is emptied before reloading. Or right, slabbing, satisfactory repair, renew, check for metal or wood, um, check decayed or missing. Or sheathing. When sheathing is damaged, shifting load, or other accident, it should be promptly replaced for the damaged portion should be removed. So not a damaged remaining portion of the process, but new boards should be good quality without large or loose knots. And sheathing boards are wider and at opening end than other care must be exercised to keep the board plumb with the nailing of them in place. The board shall be lightly na nailed narrow and first of the other end. And can they pride into the plumb position and nailed down? The groove is last board and should not be broken off in order to insert the board. The last three or four boards should be fitted together in the form of an arc. They can be sprung into position, nailed down. Nails should be not driven into the tongues of the board as the splits then cause leaks. It also prevents the boards from fitting tightly together. All right, your running board. It shows a uh, narrow running board end support, angle end panel, flat jack, uh, long sill notch, uh, 10 welded panels, 16 renew running boards. All right, running board. You're going to check for the satisfactory repair, renew, check metal or wood, check the rip, check rivets. Running boards and saddles. Running boards and saddles at the top of the box cars will no longer require paragraph 914D, which is out of the technical maintenance manual for railroad cars. Where use will be maintained safe, the condition using AAR standards as a guide. Nails must not be used in the running boards. If screw becomes loose, they should be removed in the holes plugged. New screws must be applied in the other allocation, secured down tight. When running board saddles become decayed or split, they will be replaced. Running boards. The insulation of the board boxcar running boards are safety ma uh, measures on the top. Newly built boxcar is not required. However, such running boards or older cars must be maintained in serviceable condition. Fastening the board should be inspected regularly. Any loose pieces of the rivets are replaced. Preventive maintenance include painting at the regular intervals to prevent rust. All right, tank man. Satisfactory repair, renew, or check loose or broken. Shell plates. The repair or straightening of the dented shell plates generally is performed in the same manner as repair of the tank heads discussed in D uh, above, which is in the tanker um, maintenance manual. Um, when necessary to remove the tank plate, uh, care must be taken to avoid damaging it with removing the old rivet. The rivet should be driven uh, head over the outside of the buck in the inside using well-designed bucking bar instead of another, another hammer. Rivets must be tight as loose rivets can be detected holding a finger on the rivet and tapping a rivet light, lightly with a hammer. If loose, it will vibrate slightly and the loose rivet must never be cocked. If they leak, they must be replaced. Alright, deck lining. Satisfactory repair, renew, date and type. All right, your flooring. Damage of the floorboards should be removed and then replaced with the new boards if only one of the two boards to be removed. The split one or both of them with a sharp pointed bar to prevent damage to joining the tongues and grooves. In any case, for the damaged fire floorboards or remove the understructure should be carefully examined. Other damage, the bottom of the board's inner lining must be removed to allow the removal of the removing of the floorboards. Uh, Replacing them and applying new flooring, the boards must cover the projection belt rivet heads and placing the board in position and tap lightly to make an impression of the obstruction. The cut of the notch and the board large enough for the bolt, bolt or rivet head and secure the board in position. Lining. When a lining is damaged, old boards can be readily bribed, loose and new ones fixed into place. If any of the large numbers must be replaced, it must be being um, removing that the belt 
rail and work down and or up in case or a but well, belt work down or up in the, as in the case to be placing new boards of the rail shall be secured before working downward up and up or upward from it. This prevents having the last board position next to the belt rail. All right, your sill steps, grab iron handrails, uh, satisfactory repair, renew, check loose or bent or broken. All right, this shows you're normal to the far left and then above uh, and then to the right, defective. And then the other defective on the uh, hazards and uh, standards of normal and defective um, sidebars and uh, safety appliances. Are your couplers, shank and sidewall, knuckles, pins and locking, um, lock lift. Satisfactory repair. Um, from a new check one, cracked alignment, low imperative. Maintenance. The operating parts illustrated in figure 7, 8, and 7, and 9 remove the accessibility of the maintenance following that are taken in inspection with the type of the uh, coupler. Visually inspect operating parts of the coupler to see that they are not cracked or broken. Test up coupling, uncoupling device for proper operation. 3. Check all visible parts of the draft gear for the cracks or damage. Measure coupler height. Center line of the coupler should be 41 inches from the top of the rail, and buffer center line should measure 42 inches from the top of the rail. Um... Inspect friction, uh, inspection friction buffers, trans transition screws, devices, loose and missing crack parts. Slack. If any slack um, exits between the coupler and butt and the flower plate of the draft gear body, the cause should be determined and remedial action taken. Slack usually be caused by one coupler butt, but maybe due to the defect of the draft coupler. In Chapter 6 of the tech, um, Technic Mail Railroad Maintenance Car, one coupler butts may be built with electric welding shim plates inserted to eliminate slack. Are right, your t recommended heights are your empty 32.5 inch minimum, 34.5 uh, maximum on recommended coupler heights for empty, loaded 31.5 inches minimum, 33.5 inch minimum uh, maximum. Height is measured for the top of the rail and center face of the coupler. All right, the example of type F coupler gauges. Example of type E coupler gauges. Typical D coupler ridge shank, starting from the knuckle um, pin location, the body head horn boot, boot, boot um, shank butt and guard arm lugs and knuckles. Type, typical type E coupler. Uh, this shows your type E and F coupler head. A couple of components continued. Type F interlocking and H interlocking coupler head. Example of a coupler shank head. Using contour gauge. Using a worn limit gauge, worn distorted contour, original contour. Hook link and screw coupler buffler and draft gear, side buffers. Typical Wilson arrangement. One, the friction buffer. Two, the Wilson coupler. Three, the buffler buffer space. Four, the coupler support. Eight, I'm um, sorry, five, the draft gear and yoke. Six, the transition device. Seven, eight, um, operating type E, a Wilson coupler. One, the coupler. Two, the thrower arm and bolt and nut. Three, the lock. Four, the support hook. Five, the thrower. And five, six, the filler block. Operating parts of type L, Wilson coupler. One, the body. Two, the uh, lock coupler. Three, the thrower coupler. Four, the lock thrower coupler. Five, the lock sat, um, sat coupler. And uh, six, lock retainer coupler. Seven, bolt lever and coupler. All right, striker casting. Satisfactory repair, renew. Checking um, cracked or broken missing. Satisfactory repair and renew. All right, strike casting is a large metal casting secured for the inside end of the center sill. The center, uh, casting has three main functions. First, run. 
lugs restrict the movement of the draft gear. It also acts as a support over the coupler shank. This is the main component absorb heavy impacts of the center sill. Due to this, the striker casting has a heavy metal block lines up with the horn of the coupler. When the car receives excessive pushing exerted against it, the coupler will compress the draft gear. This allows the horn of the coupler to contact the face of the striker. If the beer become, gear becomes um, severely worn or receives too much impact, it may become damaged. This warning possible problems with the equipment. Draft gear yoke and follower gear and cushion device. Satisfactory repair renew. Um, check for worn, broken, missing, or pounding. Typical fraction, friction draft gears. Your draft gear parts and yokes shows the yoke, the front condensation follower, the compensation pads, the front cushioning pad follower, the cushioning part, part pins, um, sorry, pals, rear follower, retaining bolts, steel shims. All right, draft lug satisfaction repair, renew, check loose and riveting. All right, follow me from uh, strike casting to the right uh, coupler. The yoke, the front lugs, cross key, retainer, follower plate, draft gear, draft gear, carrier, iron, rear lugs, and draft, um, draft or cross key. All right, draft gear lug. The draft gear lugs or draft lugs can be broken down on the front of the rear lug. The rear lugs are secured to the center shelf with the rear of the draft gear with the pocket. In some cases, it may be part of the center plate spider casting. Front lugs are generally part of the striking casting. All right, example of the draft gear system, starting at the left, the coupler, and then the key in the key slot, the draft gear, the support plate, the um, vertical yoke, and the bolster center line. Side bearing, satisfactory repair, renew, check adjusting, missing, or no clearance. Side bearing, side bearings consist of a special steel plate, flat bearing surface with a contact similar plates on the body bolster fabricated as part of the bolster. They're designed and steady of the car body to prevent excessive rocking, maintaining intermittent contact with the similar members of the body bolster instead of the flat bearing surface of the combination of the rollers and rockers may be found on some cars. New car specification requires side bearing clearance to be with adjusted with limits of one eighth of an inch to one quarter inch per bearing. Measure each bearing of the car on level the track of the body of car body level. Total side bearing clearance of the B N and A R and A and L and A and R corners must be the same total clearance of the bend of the of the L and A and R corners with permissible variation one eighth of an inch rising end of the car above the tracks trucks. Side bearing inspected with the aware or of the breakage repairs replacement indicated with the trucks should be rolled out from under the facility um facility that repair, if replacement is necessary, the old side bearing can be burned off or a new one asphyxiated by riveting of or welding. Original manner care mode will be taken against adjusting for proper clearance. And this shows your side bearing case. Are your side frame bolster columns, guides, aspect repair, renew, check for broken, patch, plated, striking, or worn? All right, table A4, truck side frame, bolster, gib, wear, limited wheels or chain with the truck dismantled, wear, truck side frame, columns, bolsters, gibs must be measured before disassembly. When wear exceeds the limit shown below, the same may as be um, repaired. Type of the truck, uh, plain bearing truck without built in the features, the repair and with the total clearance between the bolster, truck side frame, col um, columns reach lateral, one, eighth, one and one eighth of an inch longitudinal, three quarters of an inch. Prepare for the nominal clearance dimension, bolster of the truck side of the frame, lateral inside, one eighth of an inch outside, total longitude, three sixteenth of an inch. All right, type of truck, trucks with um, built-in snubbing features having plain bearings, all bearing sizes have roller bearing, bearing ship, which provide bearing lateral, all bearing sizes are having the five and ninth, five and a half by ten inch roller bearings, which provide no bearing lateral, one eighth of an inch. The asterisk stands for a longitudinal clearance of primary matter wear frame, bolster, column wear plates, friction shoes, bolster, column frame, same maintenance instruction from the truck designer or manufacturer. Your lateral repair nominal clearance dimension of the bolster truck side frame is one quarter inch. All right, type of truck. Trucks built in with a stumping feature of six, six inches to 11 inch, six and a half inch to 12 inch to seven inch. The 12-inch roller bearings will provide no bearing lateral. One and a half inch lateral repair will be total clearance between the bullish truck side frame cream um, columns reach. 
Prepare with a nominal clearance dimension truck between bolster and truck side frame one half inch on the inside and outside. Our method of marking mating cast steel side frames is on, on it shows the uh, bearing journal and the side frame of the truck. All right, notched uh, C1 truck, limited wear indication, friction casting, barber stabilized thing, ride control truck, limited wear friction casting. Um, shows the bolster gib wear plate, side wear frame. But example of the bolster gib and side wear frame, wear, wear plate. All right, your uh, illustration repair welding truck side frame, repair hanger bracket, one inch um, unit guide bracket, roof liner repair, permissible heat treatment. All right, spring packaging, satisfactory repair, renew check for the compressed missing broken plates and wood. All right, truck spring. General, the truck bolster ends properly fitted between the column of the truck side frame will rest on a unit cluster of the coil springs, which are set built up in the shoulder spring with the brackets of the truck side frame and the truck bolster make up the spring cluster, dependent upon the loads and spring travel dictated. By operating condition, the cluster of the width of the cap and sheet of the place of the removal since for the fixed of neither bolster nor um, side frame. Spring replacement. Bolster. Uh, bolster. I can't read that because I'm sorry. It's just a uh, bad contrast. Um, your spring may break in place of the bolt. Um, may break or become loose, which um, occurs when one spring is not serious. And when, however, an additional strain is there placed on the remaining springs in the case of the heavily loaded that may be unable to carry the load, thus possibly resulting in truck failure, hot journal derailment, other serious damage, rusting, breakage of the containing parts may be caught with the spring, become loose, eventually lost. The spring plank is damaged, greater pressure will be applied with the springs, result with the unbroken springs, tilting the truck with the springs found with the broken, missing the new spring will be installed to do this for the truck and be partially disassembled. Following the procedure outlined above, the weight must be taken with the bolster. Bolster raise high enough for the spring to come free. New spring should fit with the um, spring seat exactly and have the same snubbing characteristics as the other springs in the group. Then it shows the truck. Um, side bearing axle, uh, center plate, braking lever, brake hanger, brake shoe, wheel, rail, brake beam, brake pin, brake conducting rod. Journal box side frame, spring plank, coil, coil spring bolster. All right, your spring nub device, and this is an example of the snubbing device. Example of the spring packs type, snubbing device. Um, truck spring condemning, condemning high limits. All right, modification of steel to state pocket. Satisfactory repair, renew check shield straps, other specified crack or bent. Yes or no. All right, shows the top one shows your body bolster, your center sil um, sill cover plate, floor stringers, body bolster. You, in the center, you see the end sill draft gear pocket, side sill state pocket, diagonal brace to side bearing, um, body bolster, cross tie, cross bears, cr center sill um, body bolster. All right, shows your cross bear, center sill, cross ties. Um, Striking plate, coupler draft, and gear pocket, body bolster, intermediate sills. Component mar um, parts being illustrated on the underframe. Lowering completed underframe on the trucks. Repair procedures. Marking with templates, metal necessary for work template. Um, step uh, Stop on template. Uh, template for the angle, uh, templates for I beams, and then shows a straightening push end end sill by jacking against the body bolster, end sill center sill body bolster jack sill block, side sill bullock, handbrake shaft and wheel satisfactory repair or broken check shims R and R and R renewed. All right, the TM five two zero three the complete brake inspection repair check of the TM two zero three maintenance of the rail car chapter eight. Making ground inspection standards with the deposit on the rails of the front of the um, consist lead wheels direction and movement of the consist rear wheel. Fuel tank must not have any leaks. Brake cylinders position travel must be at minimum sufficient to permit brake shoes to clear the wheels for the brakes release. Minimum not more than a toll piston travel to display on the block of the F6180 and 49A minus one and one half inches. 
Brake shoes should be carried or aligned with the wheel. Brake rigging must be not be bind or foul. There must be no cracks, broken, missing, or of any locomotive, truck, wheel, gear case, draft gear, coupler, carrier, um, jumper, cables must not be frayed, damaged, be stowed, and if unused, have each end connection with a warm receptacle, dummy receptacle. CSX air brake train handling um, and equipment. All right, so it shows that 5,000 air brake general, 550 locomotive air brake equipment, 5,100 air brake test general equipment, 5,150 making locomotive air brakes um, test, 5,200 making train air brake inspection testing, 53 locomotives, um, 5,350 locomotive condition, 5,400 locomotive operation, 5,500 fundamental to train handling, 5,550. Conventional train handling, 5,600 helpers, 5,650, 650, special train handling procedure, 5,700 telemetry equipping trains, 5,750 telemetry qualification, 5,800 arming telemetry two-way capability, 5,850 testing two-way telemetry emergency compatibility, 5,900 uh, disarming emergency capability, 5,950 in-route failures, defects, appendix A, setting up locomotive air brakes, appendix B, illustration brake valve handling position, appendix C, um, locomotive data guide. All right, this shows your truck lever with cylinder level the brake pads, um, brake, uh, brake, uh, placards, brake rigging, and dimensions. All right, your air hose, the defective air hose, the split, split hose, a worn hose, a hose with a split. Shows different soft bend and uh, split hoses and worn hose. Straight shaft hanging handbrake. Vertical gear type handbrake, a boxcar shown in retainer. Vertical type lever type gear handbrake, typical horizontal type handbrake. Wheels, satisfaction repair, renew, check flange, crack, flat spots, thin rim. All right, type of trucks. Car trucks have been, um, been generally described in paragraph 32 of the TM 5530203. There are many different types of the same general characteristics applicable to all this part. Take with the Texas legend, the large limited conventional four wheel cars, baluster, coil spring, side frame, freight car trucks, discussed in 419 through 421. Inspection repair of the maintenance of the car trucks essential to repair part of the railway operation wheels. Must roll the movement, personnel, equipment supplied by the rail, wheel flanges, wear sharp, tread wear thin, brake shoes wear out. Diameter of a car wheel bearings decrease in length with the increase of the surface of the car journals to worn deer down until they are uneven front journal finishing reach of the danger point. It occurs the defective surface must be smooth. Polish to create new wearing surface of the rear wearing reconditioning eventually will reduce the journal to unsafe diameter length. Length also becomes greater with the maximum lateral movement over the bearing and journal except for the state of the operation. 4-2 maintenance of the truck is a unit. The body of the car may be sold with the because of the wear of the wheel and treads. Journal bearings and possible shortening of the spring the result from the set of the, of the selling may be the virtual importance of the um, sense of the relative height. Settled for the car is often coupled um, cars distort, disturbed. However, the car can be brought up to the proper level of placing shims and liners requiring thickness for the under the truck springs and or replacing effect of the wearing weak springs. This will raise the truck bolster body of the car. The car also can be raised with the placing of shim in the center plate with requires compensating adjusting of the side bearings. Proper height of the car established by measuring the height of the coupler over the rail that should not exceed 34 and a half inches from the center of the coupler over the Kano's <laughs> Continental United States tire cars. All right, this is an example of the wheel defect with worn coupler, limited wheel, journal coupler, and journal fillet gauge. It shows the method of the gauging of flat spots and also the road limited services. Um, limit shop, limit. Method of the gauging thin flanges, method of the gauging vertical flanges, method of the gauging thin flanges, wheel of the condemnable, method of the gauging flanges, wheels condemnable. Uh, cast iron, cast steels wear, have not flat back, face rim, all other steel wheels, method of measuring high flanges. Uh, gauge 364 of the inch worn through spot in the chill area out of around 33 inch and a half inches wheel. Um, built in thread. A wheel is condemnable whenever the thread has built up in the material. Uh, tread is built up in the metal one eighth of an inch higher than the wheel tread. 
Groove wheel, groove tread, a wheel tread is condemnable whenever it has one more grooves worn to a depth of one eighth of an inch or more. Gauge defect of the device is wheels. Method of gauging a worn flange gam gauge um, flange wheel measuring point condemning line for each service. Method of gauging witness groove um, in flange. Method of gauging location witness flange gauge. Um, method of gauging flange height. Method of gauging vertical flange. Your burnt rim, your spread rim, your um, another spread rim, shattered rim. Uh, subsurface defect of the round turning wheel, shelled, trio, shelled tread, built up tread. Um, groove tread wear, cracked hub, cracked broken plate, thermal cracks, crack extending through the rim. Um, crack originating from a hole burned in the wheel. Your wheel out of gauge dimension is less than 53 and a half inches, it exceeds 53 and 3 eighths of an inch. All right, class A axles are three and three quarter inch by seven. Their nominal wheel, wheel size diameter seat diameter is five and a half inch and five and a half inches. Minimum um, thirty five fifty five steel wheels fifty seventy um, max. B forty um, B four and a quarter by eight. Um, nominal wheel seat diameter five and three quarter inch five fifty six of an inch. Cast iron thirty five sixty fifty five eighty. Uh, see, um, 65, 6 and 5, 60, 6 and 5, 16 of an inch, 40, 65, 70, 100. Uh, class, um, C type axle, 5 and 9, 9th of an inch, 5 by, 5 by 9, 6 and a half, 48 by 65, 70 by 100, 7, 45 by 70, 75, 110. Type, class D, 5 and a half by 10 inches, 7 inches nominal wheel, the seat diameter, 45 by 70 cast iron, 75 by 100 cast iron steel. D, uh, 5 and a half by 10, 7 by 9, 16 of an inch, 50 by 75, 80 to 120. E type E class, um, axle, 6 by 11, 7 and 5 eighths of, um, 50 by 75, 80 by 120, 8 and a quarter, 55, 800, uh, 85, 30, 130. Type F class axle, six and a half by 12, eight and one, eight, one and eight, eight and one eighth, eight and three quarters, and then steel wheel would be 90 to 140. All right, this shows your um, wear um, cross section diagram provided with the show location and tabulated dimensions, and it shows A, B, your dimension tolerances. All right, axle joining, satisfaction repair, renew, check collar, heat, RJ stamp, and fill it. Standard axle dimensions are based on loading ratings, which turn are fixed for the journal slide. The figure um, 417 shows the limit of the wear, the new dimension of the plane for a car axle. Figure 418, same data with the passenger car axles. With new passenger car axles, you with the new car passenger car start with the loading rated individual axles. She'll be shown in table 401, where axles are selected in the corner of the table. Figure 419. Common defects. Site below, shorted general description of the various common axle journal defects for recommended cut, burn journals, depression continuing out of streak of injury with the surface of the mouth of the wheel, seat and journal of the cat. Uh, such a cut of the journal must not be removed except for the machine cut by in a lath. Such defeat is allowed with the remain that must cause a broken axle or a hot journal. Two, bent axle. All secondhand dismantled axles should be checked in the lath between centers around tint and round duty centric. See on taper over the wheel seat and in journals. The axle is found to be bent, should be scraped unless um, journals and wheel seat are turned up within the specified limit of the practice. So, times fail, follow and leave chalk witnesses marks in wheel seats to show axles been checked in the lathe. Broken axle circumferential laps and seams or any portion of the axle likely to cause trouble. The broken axle with one over the broken end of the collar must be scraped. Back journal fillet. The standardized lath tool simplifies the practice journal fillet normally turned in the same radii and no axles. The rules, however, the permit with the second hand axles, maximum back fill at radius one eighth of an inch C and four C and larger axles, back gauge, wheel defect, 
gauge, minimum radius of equipped employed when axles can be reapplied, refinishing, restoring the fillets. Steering radii would cause the journal to scrap the deficiency length of the diameter. Journal fillet, um, journal length of the limit, the length of the worn journal should be measured between a point of one quarter inch above the journal surface of the face of the end of the collar to a point of one eighth of an inch below the dust guard. See for the back fillet fillet shown in figure 420. Any gauge for the measure of the length of the journals in accordance with the method of the can be gauged can be used. Figure 421 illustrates the type of the gauge used for the railroads throughout the United States. Six, the collar worn limit of the limits where the conform was shown in figure 418. Uh, Journal diameter worn below limits of the conform to those shown in 418. Wheel summit um, see below will limit the where will be conformed to those 418. Our journal length of the worn limited axles usually are scraped because of the journal has been reached condemning length of the required because of the journal wheel seats have the reach of the condemning diameter and three-year operations where the axles will be in short supply a light of one-eighth of an inch of the diameter of the journals will remove the bend scores of the cuts of the fillet with the restore of the fillets with the length of the journal appreciable reducing thickness of the end of the collar. All right, it shows your plain journal axiom limits to A, B, and G. All right, shows the plain axle journal where limits the journal size four and a quarter by eight. A is three sixteenth, and B is eight and eleven sixteenth, and G is three and five three quarters. Your journal standard size five by nine, three sixteenth of an inch journal collar, eight and eleven sixteenth journal length, four and a half the journal diameter, five and a half by ten inch, three sixteenth of an inch journal um, journal length, eight and eleven sixteenth the journal diameter, um, five inches, six by eleven inches. Um, Three and a sixteenth inch journal collar, eight and eleven sixteenth of journal length, five and a half journal diameter, six and a half by over twelve inches, journal length, three sixteenth of an inch, eight and eleven inch sixteenths over the six and a half inches, seven inch by twelve inch, three sixteenth of an inch, eight and eleven sixteenth of an inch, six and a half inches journal diameter. All right, your plane axle wear um, reject, reject when less than uh, four and a half quarter by eight and a inch, five, a five and a half, b six and one sixteenth. G, uh, journal diameter, 4 and 11, 16, 5 by 9, 6 and a quarter on the journal core, collar, 6 and 3 quarters in journal length, um, journal diameter, 4 and a half by journal diameter, 5 and a half by 10 inch, 6 and 3 quarters of an inch journal collar, 7 and 3 16 of an inch journal length, um, 5 34 of an inch um, journal diameter rejection when less than. Six and eleven by inches, seven and three eighths of an inch, and the journal length, seven and seven eighths of an inch, six and five sixteenth of an inch, um, journal diameter, six and a half by twelve inch, seven and seven eighths, seven, seven and seven eighths of the journal collar, journal length, eight and three eighths of an inch, um, journal diameter, six and three quarters of an inch, seven by twelve inch, journal size standard, seven and seven eighths of an inch, journal collar, nine and a quarter inch, journal length, and journal diameter, five and seven and eighths of an inch, reject when less than. All right, roller bearing axle wear limited to four and a quarter by eight of an inch, five and a half on the wheel seat, black collar, wheel seat raised, um, six and a sixteenth of an inch axle center, four and eleven sixteenth of an inch, five by nine inch, six and a quarter, um, wheel seat, black collar, um, wheel seat raised, six and three quarters axle center, five and a half, five and a half by ten and a half, by ten inches journal stand standard six and three quarter inch wheel seat block collar seven three quarter inch wheel seat raise axle center five and three quarters six by eleven inches um journal size standard seven three eighth of an inch wheel seat black collar seven and seven eighth of an inch wheel seat raise six and five sixteenth of an inch axle center six and a half inch by twelve inch seven and seven eighth of an inch eight and three eighths of an inch wheel seat raised axle center six and three quarter inch seven and twelve inches um, only wheel seat raised, nine and a quarter, axle center, seven and seven and eighth of an inch. Are right, your total axle ratings? Um, right, we, uh, and shows the type, max load and pounds of each axle designed to carry, maximum weight of rail car load and four wheel trucks. All right, um, minute new limitation to mention plane friction bearings. Um, new limitation design for passenger car axles. Economical selection wheel axles. All right, your length of the worn journal. Show the contour of the worn journal with the correct measurement as being in the 9 15, 5 16 of an inch. Incorrect measurement, 11 16 of an inch and 1 8 of an inch depth by a quarter inch depth. All right, this show for the gauge used the measuring length of the journals on the class 8F axles as an exclusive 
Our journal box and lubricator satisfactory repair over new check low are missing. Inspection journal pack in general. When an inspection reveals any of the following conditions shall be well taken in the indicated below. If the journal packaging is dirt mixed with the grease, the box should be repacked. And the journal box containing the excessive amounts of the snow and ice water um, should be repacked. Repacked journal box containing excessive amounts of the snow and ice water should be repacked. Rick, um, Particular attention should be given when all boxes located with under drain ice boxes, refrigerator car when found it contained drippings. Box should be replaced. The drone boxes having a high water should be clean. Repacked as soon as practical. Careful examination must be made in the corroded and pitted journals. Re oiling. As if the packing should dry along the top of the after that has been reset less than one and a half inch of the oil in the bottom of the box of the oil should be added starting at the back of the box and working in the oil can spout forward. Along the bolt side of the journal and direction of the car movement is known also should be added on the raising side of the journal only with the box labeled closely properly there must don't lose threads packing um, hanging outside in necessary cold weather too having cut back and thinner oiler and hot car oil than thin oil having flash point of 300 degrees Fahrenheit above may be used to use kerosene oil any of the flash point below 300 is prohibited. Right, this shows a typical journal box of the journal box lid, the wedge, the dust guard inserted bearing, um, typical journal bearing assembly. All right, this is method journal packaging. Um, typical journal, journal lubricating pad. All right, center plate. Satisfactory repair, renew, check, broken, or loose. Center plate. The truck bolster center plate. The depression with the center plate is casting is riveted to the center of the car fits and is held by a weight of the car body confirmation for the casting center pin the center pin should be re-inspected for present with the dirt grit scale and form material which cover the binding above the wear and the center plate with the pin should be lubricated with a suitable hard grease prior to being replaced only with the car with the center plate should be examined for the car broken portions if the damage is noted the center plate and the bolster are necessary should be removed the outline and B above place with the new one in the center plate uh, is riveted it can be replaced with singly liners of the shim plate with the center plate adjusted with the coupler height are permissible providing natural um, vertical bearing surface of the center plate is not reduced to one eighth and one and one, one eighth of an inch so this liner should be only one piece of the exceeding one quarter of an inch and to inspect the center plate of the cleaning and lubricating that can be raised or by hoist jacks or sufficient height to be the center plate visible for the inspection care should be taken to put hands on fingers in the center case of under such circumstances all right this shows the picture of the center plate and then above the center plate and then from the center plate and then another center plate and this end from the bolster are right, your roller bearing adjusting adapters and lug satisfaction repair renewed check heat worn worn missing seals are broken all right renewed journal bearings when um back lug is broken worn one quarter of an inch more more lengthwise even the end with the combined wear lengths of three eighth of an inch or more length lug worn depth of one eighth of an inch or more in an area of which is over 50 percent of the contact face combined wear of both sides with lug extension one quarter of an inch more at any location the lining is worn through brass at any location, three eighths of an inch or more above the low edge of the brass side of the walls. Lining is loose or broken out. Lining is pulled for the journal and contact area indicated with the wearing pattern. Wheels and the axle change. Two bearings for each side of the wheels missing. All right, shows the tapered roller bearing. Heavy duty bearings. Um, applications exploded view. All right, this shows the nomenclature of a heavy-duty bearing assembly. Your packing iron waste and grab hook. Your recommended method of stacking journal bearings. Our defective car holder, placard holders, route, bo route boards. Um, Satisfactory repair, renew, check, tightening, and replace. All right, this gives you class one, class two, um, class um, class one explosives, class two flammable gases, class three. Flammable solids, class 4 flammable solids, uh, spontaneous and wet, oxidizing, class 5 peroxides, organic peroxides, class 6 poisonous liquid, 7 radioactive material. Paint condition, satisfaction repair, or renew. And then it shows the color safety. And then um, 
Mechanical edition code, satisfaction repair, renew. And if something's wrong with this publication, you always have DA2280, recommended change to equipmental technical publication, then jot this down with the dope and about it is on this form, and uh, carefully uh, tear it from the hold and drop it in the mail. This place um, showed the form from print your name, location, address, publication number, publication date, publication title, date, site, be exact, pinpoint where it is. Um, this place tell me what's wrong and what should be done about it, DA Form 2028. And that completes um, my And that completes the uh, video for um, video for railroad cars. Thank you.